Welcome back to a photographer by Harrison. Been unable to get out of your house because of COVID or maybe the weather. But guess what? There's quite a few things in your house that you can use if you have a little bit of imagination. And with that, I'm going to show you what a Tylenol pill and an N95 mask have in common, at least when I use my imagination. And with that being said, I will see you on the other side. We pour soda into a glass all the time and never give the bubbles a second thought. But up close, the bubbles become magical light catchers floating in the air. We are used to seeing reflections with our eye, but not reflections in our eye. Moving from our eye to our eyelashes, we see giant rods in pecan colored soil. How many times have you poured Tylenol out of the bottle and marveled at their white smoothness. But up close, you realize that smoothness becomes a white, rocky surface busting through a giant advertising sign. Just another N95 mask, you say. Well, get up close and use your imagination and you'll see the N95 is crisscrossed with hundreds of highways and overpasses. Turn your imagination to the salt you are putting on the french fries. And up close, the grains become giant boulders rolling down the side of a mountain. What's so special about a slice of bread? Well, if you use your imagination and get up close, it becomes an alien landscape covered in mile-high ice mountains. With a little imagination, a bowl of strawberry ice cream, up close is transformed into a mountain of sweetness topped with a one-ton strawberry covered in sweet goodness. Well, now you have no excuse. Even on bad days when you can't get outside, you can always find something inside your house to shoot. Now, of course, your imagination might be different than mine, and you might not want to be as close. Still, the idea is don't let anything hold you back from doing your photography and having fun with your camera. And plus, one of the benefits of if you do use food props and things like that, now, you didn't think I was going to let the light bowl of ice cream go to waste, did you? And like I told you right before, that giant size of a glacier, a strawberry, guess what? Now that I'm back to normal size, I can eat it. Mmm. -hmm. If you like what you see, go down in the comments and let me know. Because that will motivate me to go out and do more videos. And of course, if you don't like what you see, still leave a comment. Because that will also motivate me to go out and do more videos so you'll like them the next time. Because you know what I say it all the time. When it comes to photography, no one knows it all. And the more you learn about photography, the more you learn you didn't know. And as always, I want to thank you for coming along with me on this photographic journey through my imagination, looking at different items, just, for, just a little bit different than we might normally see them. We see them every day, but sometimes when you look a little bit deeper, you'll see that photo opportunity. And plus, if you know me, I always have, there's never a time why I can't eat ice cream. Hmm. So maybe come out and enjoy me next time, you'll get some. Might not be strawberry. It might be chocolate chip, it might be butter pecan. But if you let me know you're coming, I'll have some for you. With that being said, I will see you next time. Oops.